Yeah. Oh hi, I'm Mr Hopkins and I'm going to teach you today how to play drinking pool, otherwise known as draw. First up, rule number one. If I pot a ball, my opponent has to drink. We'll start out with a stake of one finger. So for example, should I aim for this blue ball here and pot it? My friend had best get chugging. Oh. Now this is when it gets interesting. The shots carry over, so if after potting my first ball, I continue on to pot a second, then my friend must drink two fingers. The most interesting rule is when we call it. This is when I know there's a ball that I'm likely to pot, so this ball I will call as number three, called. If then I play the shot and the ball goes in, my friend will have to drink twice the amount that he would have previously had to drink anyway. So since this was my third ball... Six fingers. <laughs> yeah. However, the downside of that is, if I was to call, say, this number seven here, and make an absolute hash of it, then it backfires upon myself and I have to drink double the forfeit of what he would have done. Oh Jesus, eight fingers! So now I'm on the black. My friend Richard has seven balls yet to go. Now the rule on the black is that for every shot on the black that you do not get it in the correct pocket that you call at the start of your turn, you must drink one finger. However, when you do finally get the black in, my friend must drink one finger for each one of his balls that remain on the table. 